This group of women in central Kenya are on their way to harvest prickly pear that will be turned into biogas. The cactus is an invasive species. Its encroachment hinders wildlife navigation as well as reducing grazing areas. Some animals which consume the plant's fruit can suffer from digestive issues due to its small hairs. The cactus was introduced in Kenya in the early 1900s. Historically, people said it was brought by the colonial government to fence around the colonial government, government offices as a flower. But all of a sudden, it just has branded all over Laikipia North due to the disposal from different animals, elephants, birds, human beings, livestock like goats and uh, cows. The Ilo Plate Walla Cultural Manyata Women Group counts 203 members who are now employed in converting the cactus pulp into fuel. They can also use it in their homes. This approach not only eradicates the cactus but also offers an alternative livelihood source. We came together because in Maasai culture, women do all domestic work and own nothing at home. So we want to empower ourselves and I just uh, believe that when you want to empower yourselves, you must come together, lobby for resources as we did as Twala women and now we can uh, manage the 40 acres of land that we get from the two community land. We are also able to manage natural resources and that's why we also come with an idea of making biogas out of the cactus and also selling fruits and generate income uh, that help us to educate our children. The fruits from the cactus are edible if separated from their sharp spines. The Twala women at Laikipia Permaculture therefore use all parts of the fruit, creating a range of products, including jams. This generates an independent income for them. We get the fruit from the women group. We wash them. We grind them to, get to, to separate the pearl and the seed. The seed, we put them in the dryer, which we grind them to get the oil. The oil, we give it back to the women group, which they use to make the cosmetic, the shower gel, the body lotion, and the pearl, we make the juice and the jam. Combating the invasive species proves challenging as it spreads even on barren rock. Teams at the Loisaba Conservancy, a wildlife habitat in northern Kenya, have also come up with techniques to fight the environmental menace.